Brothers and sisters and friends, today's topic is serving. In Matthew chapter 20, 25 to 28, it says, Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Unlike the worldly kings who expect others to serve them and wait upon them, Jesus, the Son of God, King of Kings, came not to be served but to serve. The greatest way Jesus served was giving his life as a ransom for all of us. We were captured by the devil and we are living as his slaves. Jesus knew that the only way we could be released and set free was to give a ransom. That ransom was costly. It was his own life. He was more than willing to serve us with his life. He viewed himself as a slave of God on behalf of man. Jesus didn't resist or resent that role. When he saw people, he was not overwhelmed by their needs or desires, but was filled with compassion and desire to serve. He did not see that as a burden. He paid the greatest price by putting our need of forgiveness and atonement before his very life. The people who have had the most impact on our lives are those who served us well. Our parents, the ones who preach the gospel to us, and many more. Nothing moves the heart more than someone who puts the needs of other people above his own and willingly serve. When Jesus showed the full extent of his love by washing their feet, the disciples were shocked. They were humbled and deeply moved because the King of Kings took the position as a slave. Consider this, Jesus had the same heart for Judas as he had for Peter and John while washing their feet. That was his nature to serve. What is our nature? Do we differentiate between whom to serve and whom not to? Do we serve the ones who are looking important or have leadership positions and ignore the others? We are called to serve all our family, our brothers and sisters in Christ, the lost and the poor, and even our enemies. How do we respond when the call of service interrupts our schedule? Whenever you find it difficult to serve, remember the cross. If the King of Kings is the servant, why should we be ashamed or be reluctant to serve? Consider it has a glorious opportunity to become like Jesus and be eager to serve. Please meditate on the following scriptures also. Matthew 20 verses 20 to 28, Matthew 25, 31 to 46, John 21, 1 to 40. To God be the glory. Thank you.